frankly, this ranks up there with the worst SPL losses ever. I mean, it, it, it's a loss for words. Something has to change. Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for joining us here in beautiful Alpharetta, Georgia. My name is John Finch. I'm joined by Ryan Agro Bailey, and welcome to the SPL. And we should have a pretty big set here today, hopefully, but I just want to make sure that we keep you all updated. First things first, E United are running a little bit late term in terms of actually just getting here to the studio. And the way that the rules work, just plain and simple, if they're not here by 1 o'clock when things all get started, that first game is forfeit. So just right off the gate already, they're going to be down a game. Exactly, and the way that it works after that is for every five minutes after 1 o'clock, clock, they lose another game. So if they aren't here by 1.10, then it's a 3-0 for Space Station. Space Station's already up 1-0 because E-United just can't get here in time. It, it, look, it, there, there's no analysis necessary. This, sure. is, this is pathetic. They, they should be here. So obviously something must be going on with these guys. I'd like to give them the benefit of the doubt, and hopefully they'll be able to make it in here, but it is unfortunate that we're able that we're missing it. Alpha Jackal's addition seems to be a pretty good start for them. And I'm glad that you mentioned that, you know, that it's not so much synergy, because I think they are often all five of them in the wrong places. The only E United member we can see <laughs> is Hindu Man. He, I guess he's from what good was Lord. the European Union at one point, not even soon, right? Yeah, Britain's exactly. almost out of there. Yeah, so. I don't know. Unfortunate for that guy. But I think that's been a lot of the question marks around this team is how well the mid jungle is going to work together. There we go. Hey, they arrived, and they're only down 1 0. That's not too bad. I don't know if it's if it doesn't get started by 105. Yeah, they've got a minute left to get ready but because it's 104 currently, and they might be down in a 2-0 hole to start it out. Yes, it, uh, dep it depends on you know if them being here now is enough, I suppose, right. or if they need to be actually just ready to go ahead and go right at that time. But they're here at the very least. It looks like we will have a set, right? They should certainly be ready by that 110 mark. So unfortunately, it's only gonna for them. It's only gonna hurt them in that one game. And now for Space Station, I think you gotta play the cards you're dealt, right? Yeah. And, and capitalize absolutely. on this on this one game advantage that you're given coming in because I think that this is a tough week for them. They really needed to find a set win somewhere. They've had some real struggles, and E United probably the better chance between the two, sure. and now they're a game up on them, too. They've got to find some kind of way to convert this. Now, now I know, I heard the Space Station guys talking. They didn't want to win in, in this sort of fashion. Exactly. They didn't They didn't want to win if United didn't get here in time or anything like that, but, but still... To, to, you have to play with what you're dealt, is yes. exactly what you said, and you're completely right. So it is going to be a 1-0 lead for them, not a 2-0 lead, because, they, again, United arrived before that 105 mark. So th this is the lead that Space Station is going in with. I did just hear from production that it sounds like they did actually end up losing or having to forfeit the game too as well. Yes. My understanding is that Benji wasn't quite here yet, so they had everyone else. and then, So everyone else is here. It's just that they just don't have their fifth member still. So mm, no they Benji. still cannot play then at that point. So so right now they're, they're, they're down 2-0, and we're waiting to see if they'll be able to get everyone here. Remember, that is 110 to be able to see if they can get that fifth member here. That's tough, man. I and mean, Not having yeah. a sub here, I suppose, that, that could step sure. in and play in, in Benji's spot that – I don't know. I don't know what to say. You know when your games are. Yes. You got, you got to show up. There, there's been no schedule changes. This is a, a, a an insulting thing that United did in my I, mind. I'm right there with you. You got to make sure that you're here for the matches. That's really all there is to it. Welcome back to the SBL. Once again, Finch here, joined by Ryan Agro Bailey. And we are going to be having a set, it turns out. At the very least, one game of Smite will be played, potentially all the way up to three. So Benji and the rest of the squad are fully here, and they're getting ready to get everything going here with the match, though they are going to be down 2-0. That graphic is absolutely correct. Because they weren't able to have everybody here by the start time, United have already forfeited two games. What a big play by Benji to show up with a minute left. Really impressive. It's a joke, man. I mean, you, yes. you move you move half the team across the entire world and can't get here for a 1 p.m. game. It's a joke. That's right. This is the middle of the day. It's uh, not even like it's an early one, huh? I didn't even, yeah. That's exactly right. So certainly every available opportunity for them to be able to be here on time for it, but they couldn't quite make it. They do still have a chance, though, to grab this win. I'm, I'm assuming that whole team is working really hard to get their head straight. On the other side, Space Station's been here for a while now. I imagine they've had plenty of time to get everything straight. In fact, we should be able to hear some thoughts coming from them pretty soon. Venenu is standing by for the interview. Yeah, thanks so much, Desk. I'm joined by Venenu from Space Station Gaming this morning. Obviously, Venenu, what does it feel like to get out of bed on time for your games? Oh, it feels really good. Yeah, I'm really glad that we, you know, managed to leave our apartments and houses on time and get here. Really difficult process to do. I can seem to understand that with how things go. Um, tell the fans at home what it's like to be a professional player and get paid a living to play video games and yet be on time. Oh, it's really nice. Yeah, it's only one job that we have to do, be here on time. 
Yeah. It's a pretty risky job to try and do sometimes, isn't it, Ben? Yeah, really, really hard. Uh, on this set today, you're now up zero to two because one team decided to not wake up for some unknown reason with five members on the team. How do you feel going into this one now with your confidence level? Uh, we feel pretty good. I mean, we're kind of disappointed that they're not on time. We wanted to play a real best of five, but I mean, with the circumstances, we only got one game to play, basically. It's a real shock that this situation unfolded. Back to you guys on the desk. Thanks, Henny Man. Thanks, Vinay, as well, for standing by for the interview. Also, thanks for showing up on time. Yes, appreciate you guys being able to get here to the studio. I, I wonder, do you think there's any chance? I mean, you did play for a while at the competitive yeah. level, too, so I really want to hear your mentality on this. Do you think knowing that you only need to one, only win one game could maybe even hurt your mentality a bit? If they do drop this set, which could certainly still happen, yeah. that does some for real damage. Yes, this would be a real backbreaker for Space Station Gaming. I mean, this this if they end up losing a set where they're up 2-0, this could send ripples throughout their whole season, in my mind. I mean, this... Yeah. It, it, almost puts a lot of pressure on them in a way that you have to win this game. It, it, you don't have to win game one necessarily, but, well, game three technically. But you need to win this set. This is yeah. a must win now for Space Station. If they end up losing this set, then this team is going to potentially implode. I, I mean, th it is that devastating to be up 2-0 and go against a team that literally just got here and end up losing. Like that, just this would be up, huge. Yeah. Right? <laughs> this would be this would be a really bad loss for Space Station. Now. Either way though, E United, despite having some trouble getting here, are actually standing by. So let's go to them for the interview. I'm joined now by Vetium from E United. Uh Vetium, tell me what went on this morning. Uh just uh a little <laughs> a little bit of uh, a lack of professionalism, to say the least. I mean, it uh we we didn't we didn't wake up on time. Uh very irresponsible of us. Uh we've now forfeited two games. And uh you know, we have a lot of uh, coming back to do both in-game and outside. Do you feel your organization or the fans that support you at home will be satisfied with what happened today? No, for sure not. It's it's horrible. It's it's very disrespectful to both high res and uh, the fans in United. So we're sorry for that. I mean, we have a lot more uh, work to do to, to compensate for this. Well, I'm pretty sure the fans at home will appreciate the apology. Good luck in the rest of your games today. Back to the desk. Thanks, Handyman, again for that interview. Glad to hear at the very least that Vedium and them certainly seem to understand, I, I guess, the, the gravity then uh, of, of this mistake that they've made. And that's good, but again, still not really you know, an excuse for what's happened here at this point. Nope. No, you, I mean, you can't excuse it, especially yeah. if it's just we woke up late for a sure. 1 o'clock game. I don't know. It, I've said all I can say. It, it's it's horrible. Okay, well, this will be United up against Space Station. Remember, this is game number three, and one that Space Station could close the set out with right here if they're able to grab it. Let's get over the casters, though. Tom and Tolly standing by. Well, between Space Station and Rival, and speaking of that set, Space Station did lose it 0-3. They've been struggling against the upper echelon of teams. United not necessarily consider that same tier level. For them to find this 3-0 quote-unquote reverse sweep sure. would be impressive. Square is trying to get the better of Benji, but Benji sees what's going on. Doesn't matter. Blink, Fearless, Power Cleave. Andy's going to hold on to Benji real quick. The dash is not strong enough, and Andy follows up with the Brutalize. Last hit goes to the jungler. Very easy kill goes to SSG. Decent lead for Space Station being built upon their first blood bounty. Space Station Gaming now looking for the reinitiation. Callus getting stunned out, slowed by the honey. A good route to try to save his life, but Barra with the last hit. Barra could have used in the beats, but not in time to get up in the sky. Venium and Ice Ice Baby, however, take care of the tier one tower. First rubble going the way of E United. But E United is winning this race handily because they have a hunter. E United have a technical lead. Lead change right here. Big Man Ting's grabbed up and there's going to be the Fearless and the Power Cleave into the wall. And a little bit of trouble as he drops the ultimate. Still not enough damage from SSG. The Fearless after the fact, but Benji up top takes care of Anu. Andy and Aqua still trying to kill the mid laner and they just can't do it. Venium on a rampage. Ice Ice Baby with a double kill. Big Man Tings by the skin of his cloak gets away. An all out deicide for E United. SSG are sitting down and E United late to the party, but just on time to the Titan are going to take game one. One game down and it's two to one. Space Station dropped their first game of the set. Let's talk to the desk. Big win for E United, as again, they can't afford to take a single loss or the set would be over. We're well, ready for the picks and bands now for game number four. And now I think all the pressure in the world's on Space Station Gaming. Cause, yes, cause to win this game. I, I don't think you can go down 2-0 in the games that you've actually played and take it to a game five and feel confident. It, it, there's been a lot of talk on Twitter. I said it on the desk. This is, uh, this would be uh, one of the worst losses in the SPL that we've seen, and it's so 
unfair to Space Station because of the position they've been put in. But that's just the reality of the situation now. And I imagine that they, they feel a lot of pressure when this game as well because I don't think they want to go to a, to a winner-take-all game five either. And in a situation where you were essentially gifted two wins, to not have been able to close it out, now your back's against the wall, and, and, and that's mounting on you, right? All that pressure, everyone's opinions, you've already struggled at the start of the season. I think they're one in four coming into this matchup. So it, it's so much that they're having extra that they're having to think about. Game number four, Space Station up against E United, Tom and Tolly bringing you the call. Big man takes control and he'll be taken down easily for kill number one. Base Station Gaming in the early game will get a kill. Not even in the blue buff now with a fear no evil. Ganesh from Jeff Hilla gonna keep him in place. Ice Ice Baby going down. The corpses are dropped and Ice Ice Baby in a ton of trouble. Nanu will blow him up. Collins gets blown up by Andy and Benanu. Space Station Gaming stretch their lead and find themselves with a comfortable 4K. This is the largest lead of the contest so far. Venenu takes care of Ice Ice Baby as he empties the crypts. Benji in trouble. Pop, pop. As Aquarius drags Benji down to the ocean. E United out of here. And SSG will take the objective. Fire Giant going down very easily. 20 seconds short of the enhanced, and they probably like it that way. Big boy knockup coming out from Collis, and Ice Ice Baby will take one in the moon and land right into the bad weather, but the detonate good enough. Ice Ice gets one, Benji gets another, Andy on the run, trying to get away from Vedium, and he will. Aquarius locked down though, finds a dash on out of there. The slows are so good, the stuns are even better. Barracuda forced to beat, airstrike away. It's gonna allow United though to get this tier two tower. Now they need to get out of the fight. They've used two of their big boy ults. Aquarius still has the execute and the, the crypts are still open, which is the trap. Space Station Gaming luring United in. Kallus is stuck in the crypts. You're gonna be executed by the wrong player. Venenu pops him down. Aquarius still pushing forward. It's a five on four. Base Station Gaming in one of the best positions they've been in all season, frankly. To take the set up two to one. Now we can have a fight, we will. Ganesh drops the box. Venium already in trouble. Execute range. He'll have to find an exit down south. Aquarius now surrounded, but finally, the monkey comes from over the wall and sends Venium under the ground. Jeff Hidla pushing forward. Aquarius all in. Space Station Gaming, they put all their chips in the middle of the table and say, let's keep going. Venenu, three kills without a death. Everybody else get a run tucked as they find themselves into the fountain, but the right side Phoenix will be under attack by SSG. I don't know if this is gonna be game though, FDOT. Everyone a little low from Space Station. They're gonna get the right side Phoenix unless they can't. Benji oh has something goodness. to say about this one. Benji gets one. He's gonna find Venenu as well. Just a matter of product coming up. And he's gonna fix that face. Ice Ice is here and Aquarius is gonna get in trouble as well. Oh no, Space Station shot out of the sky. Wow. Space Station Gaming, Big Man Tings escapes that team fight by the skin of his teeth. And that is what allows the United to kind of fight on back. Space Station wow. Gaming. Let so the close. world fall between your fingertips. Left side Phoenix about half health. No ultimates expended quite yet. United can do this all day utilizing their enhanced fire giant. Nice Ice Baby and Benji, 3-2. Big Man Ting takes care of Barracuda. The and the pulse. left side burn will be finished as well. Jeff Hinla on the retreat drops the ultimate. But Big Man Tings pulls the trucker horn and sends Ganesh back to base the hard way. 11 kills for E United. Five of them belong to Zeus. Look at Ice Ice Baby. He saw Venenu use his beats alongside the fountain. He's looking for the blink play now with a five on three power play. I think United got game four in the bag. They're gonna push forward onto the Titan. The defensive ultimate from the off watch is good. The United pushed off, but and it's there. Fear no evil. Could be in trouble as well. Big man tings with the chain lightning. Takes down the jungle monkey. It's only Nanu and Aquarius. Nanu up front. Aquarius on the backside. And all in jump. Players going into the fountain. Benji gonna be executed. But the Titan goes down nonetheless. And we're going to a game five. It's tied up at two as E United take it down. They're about one game away from reverse sweeping Space Station Gaming. They crumbled under that right side, Phoenix, because of that man. Just ouch. Space Station Gaming. They've had games taken out of their hands before, but not as convincing as that last one. 
a 10,000 gold lead squandered off of a fantastic play by E United. With these two games in a row, all momentum going to E United. And now Space Station Gaming in a very difficult situation after that unfortunate loss they just took. E United tied this thing back up to 2-2. Two, two. Remember, they get it away too to get this set started up, and they have been on fire ever since. And it feels horrible because they do so much so well through the first 42 minutes. They completely revamp their team fights. Andy has a great game on the Hun Bats, just a, just a phenomenal game for him. Venenu plays the Opwash and completely it changed my mind on the pick. I thought he played it great. Everyone's doing everything right, and they make one bad shot call to go for right Phoenix, and the game is over because of it. We'll see if they can find them, though. This is it. It's all come down to the wire. Game number five, E United up against Space Station. Tom and Tolly, let's close this out. E United have won three straight games, or excuse me, two straight games by employing a strong front as far as a team fight is concerned. And one more time, they do the same damn thing. Hunbat, Jean-Cui, Terra, it's a team fight team. Aquarius and Jeff will look for this blue buff invade and likely grab it. Meanwhile, Vedium on his last legs here. And it's their one shot, two shot, three shot. The fourth will do it. And Vedium goes down for first blood. Andy making himself well known on the left side for the third time. And this time gets a double kill. Andy blinking in to start an engagement. And there's the ultimate coming out of him. As Terra finds a dash, jumps down on Vedium, finds a spin, just controlled, turn to look at Kalas, gets the stun and the kill. Great play from Jeff Hindla, and Eyesight's gonna go down as well as Barracuda threads the needle, finds the gumball, finds the kill, four notches. Space Station Gaming's belt. Now they'll engage after the Terra buff has gone down. Big ultimate coming out from Big Man Tings, and on the left side, Vedium being dealt with as Anister takes him down. 3 0 oh, 2 for the jungler. Venenu finds his first kill of the game as well. Still, Big Man Ting's being chased and the basics are slowing him. And Andy finds lucky number seven. And they'll go pick up the Gold Fury, the first one of the game, and push their lead even more so in their favor. Another large lead, seven thou -ow. And Space Station have to start making plans for the future. If they don't totally, E United will do what they did last game and just casually walk away with it. Now Ice Ice Baby turned and burned on. Barra just deletes him. A barrage of gumballs. And the tier one tower is the pressure. 15 minutes in, Space Station Gaming finally exerting the pressure that they've gotten. They have a lead, they use it. Tier one tower crumbles. Kalas dashing forward and he's even stunned out, hit by the unstable and Barracuda confirms the kill. 50% on the fire giant now. Benji creeping forward, ultimate is good, and Space Station stop TPS. Fanenu goes through a portal to avoid the Batman. Now Space Station still tanking it, but Aquarius is stunned on the front. Eyesight Baby comes out front and looks to steal, but can't and won't. Benji will fall down, and Space Station is spread out looking for kills. Aquarius controlled and rolled. Eyesight finally put this team on the board. Through the Cosmos, forcing the beast from Eyesight Baby. Gonna prevent the slow on top of it. Barracuda gets himself an unofficial double kill onto Vedium. 25% on the Fire Giant. Benji doesn't have the ultimate a second time. Yes, he does. Just came up, still fighting over it. E United, they steal it. Back to the Belfry. Benji on top, and the fight's gonna go their way as well. Big Man Tings takes two. Three players sitting down. Space Station Gaming could lose a four. The Aquarius is here fighting. Fear, no evil, but fear. E United, Aquarius fighting back. Andy finds Ice Ice Baby, but Venium makes short work of the short laner. And Andy here, surrounded by E United jerseys, makes it to the sky and will be safe and sound. And Space Station Gaming on their back foot, previously with a 10,000 gold lead, now still leading by under 4K, but the wind in the sails of E United. That is so demoralizing for Space Station Gaming. Stolen away. You, you were mentioning how Benji has to come up big in this game. And guess what? He did. He stole it on the very last final swoop from Bad Out of oh, Hell. Yeah. And even if, even if Space Station get that Fire Giant, they still lose that team fight. And honestly, it's not the hesitation because they went for the Fire Giant twice, but it's the miscalculations of what they can do after the fact. They didn't respect e United's potential engage. They didn't respect Benji in the previous defense on the Robin. And well, there's not Andy on the offense on the Ratatasker, landing up 
front, but the Fear No Evil gonna chase him in the other direction, and he's gonna die to the hand of Benji, who wraps around from the right-hand side and leaves forward. Jeff Hindla is toast, as Collis reminds him about it. Barracuda up, and Barracuda down. Big Man Tings with his second kill of the game, getting themselves a tier one tower. Only Aqua and Venenu alive to play defense. They want nothing to do with the dual lane side of the map. They're gonna try to go for the tier two tower, but I don't think they have that timing window unless nope. they want to concede the Phoenix. Tier two will go down for United. Space Station Gaming, on the other hand, won't be able to get the same thing. Left side, Phoenix is the target. Collis leading the charge. Right side, Baby dealing damage as well. Aquarius and Venenu here, and nobody really cares. United just ignoring the two members of Space Station Gaming as they take the left side, Phoenix, and they walk away. Above the fire giant. Last time it was the black and yellow side that got this objective. I don't yep. expect that to be a reoccurrence. We'll see. The space Station looking for it. Out here comes Aquarius trying to zone. Venenu jumps to the back line. Double stun thanks to the Bologna. And Benji immediately goes to the sky. Kalos combines with the Batman to take care of Aquarius. Jeff Hindle surrounded. He'll jump over the wall, but now it's Anderson that's surrounded. That said, SSG finds some damage. Venenu finds a target for his Giannis stuff. And Benji in trouble as well. Ice Ice Baby gonna turn that trouble upside down. Venenu could be after Barra, and he will be. The Dubleoon for the Jungle Monkey. And Andy will go down to Big Man Tings with the Spicy Boy plays. And the United are unhealthy, but they're looking for the right side, Phoenix, nonetheless. That portal just faded right at Barra's feet, and he had nowhere to go. The problem for Space Station was that they just had to use that ultimate so oh, quickly. Oh, they're going. And that's it. The Titan is already at 75% health. E United are coming back. They've got the minions, and here comes the United, low on the HP, but it do not matter. They come in just in time. Two games go down to some questionable, questionable performances, but ultimately three games to two. The set goes to E United. This was a set that SSG was kind of hand delivered, and unfortunately they drop yeah. it totally. Something's got to change. E United on top, three to two. Let's break it down on the desk. And that is a tough loss that Space Station now must contend with. And a big win for E United. I mean, I don't know any other way to say it. They come in and they find this 3-0, and they do it in pretty convincing fashion, I would say. Though Space Station, give it up a couple times. Yeah, I don't think E United should feel particularly good about this win. It, Space Station just should just feel like this is the worst loss ever. And it, it, frankly, this ranks up there with the worst SPL losses ever. I mean, it, it, it's a loss for words. Something has to change on the Space Station gaming team. This team cannot stay as constructed in the way that they're playing the game right now and expect to make any land this year. It, it's, it's clear as day, Finch. I mean, this is a team that had a 2-0 lead in this set and a 10K lead twice and lost them both. Something has got to change for this team. They can't win as they're constructed right now. That's been proven to me now. I think so, too. And I don't know, man. I'd take first half Space Station over a lot of teams, actually. Sure. I think I'd take early game Space Station over a lot of those teams out there, but they can't close up together. And I don't know. I mean, I don't know how we not talk about that fire giant, right? Yeah. I think that it's just pretty plain, plain and simple that that's a mistake from them because literally the fight right before that moments ago. They did it perfectly. They, not only perfectly, the exact same scenario perfectly yeah. where Bad Out of Hell was the only contender test on the objective, and they played around it perfectly. They disengaged. In fight number two, for some reason, they just didn't respect it again. Maybe it's the through space and time that they expect to be able to confirm the objective, and it's just not enough damage. It, Ven gets knocked up, and he was trying to cast his two during that time. He had, Because he barrel stuffs the fire giant. He walks forward into it. There, yeah. There's just no reason to do that. You can back up and, and do the exact same thing from there. But let's say they get this fire finch. What's the point? They're, they're, Ven's dying for it. Barra's on top of the fire giant. They're all in melee range of it. They lose lose this fight regardless if they get fire giant or not what it, it, it look results based thinking is something i preach against a lot yes space station did a lot of things very very well this set they played very well in the early game Especially basically andy. every single game andy had a had a lights out set yes. i think ven played very well outside of that last game and even during parts of that last game i think he played very well normally i'm very very strong against results based thinking that you should only you shouldn't always look at just the the win or the loss but at some point 
all you know the standings aren't looking at, at how well you played all the standings care about in, in your prize money and all this kind of stuff all they care about is if you're winning or losing yes. so it so it, you can't take these moral victories forever no. this just it, it just isn't good enough it, it just it, in, in i know it's only a couple weeks in i know we're still a couple weeks out of midseason invitational but it, it, i don't think these guys are showing up and playing just because it, it, it's having fun you know they, they want to win and yes. they are, are they are, are not this space station team this space station team is not going to win as currently constructed they I, just I, won't I, I... What can you say, Carlos, about you know moving on and, and being a little bit more professional? Uh, yeah, next time, no, no waking up uh, at twelve thirty. Uh, properly checking emails and stuff, and just yeah, just not wake up at twelve thirty. <laughs>